Alfa Romeo is discontinuing the Giulia Quadrifoglio with a gas engine after 2024. But head of North American operations Larry Dominique says the Clover badge could return in the next few years on an electric or hybrid performance car. Alfa is also discontinuing the Stelvio Quadrifoglio. The 505 horsepower performance SUV won't stick around for 2025 as the company moves away from internal combustion engines for battery-powered performance instead. Audi is slimming down its lineup. That means the A4 sedan, which has been a staple in the German automaker's range since 1994, is no more, at least not in the gas form. The company is likely to revive the A4 nameplate in the next few years in the form of an EV, but for now, the new Audi A5 takes its place. Two more victims of Audi's streamlined lineup are the A5 Coupe and the A5 Cabriolet. The new A5 sedan will be the only flavor of the A5 when it goes on sale later this year, ditching the two-door and drop-top models that have been around since the first-generation model debuted in the U.S. in 2007. The A5 Cabriolet will also be the last remaining convertible in the Audi lineup. BMW hasn't officially confirmed the X3M's death, but the writing is on the wall. The new X3 likely won't spawn a performance-oriented M model, BMW will instead focus on its next performance SUV, which will be the all-electric iX3M, or whatever it may be called. This confirms a report from 2022 that the next X3 performance variant will be electric only. Last year, Chevy killed the four-cylinder Camaro. For 2025, the entire Camaro name will drive off into the sunset. The final sixth-generation model was actually produced in December of 2023 with a manual transmission and 650 horsepower, but you can probably still find a new 2024 model sitting somewhere on a dealership lot. You probably didn't know Chevy was still building the Malibu well into 2024, but the ninth iteration of the long-standing sedan will be the last, officially ending production in November to make way for the new Bolt. The current Malibu stuck around in the U.S. for nearly nine years. The three-row Dodge Durango is slated to be replaced by the Stealth nameplate after 2024. The Durango name could make a comeback later, according to rumors, on a body-on-frame SUV based on the Jeep Wagoneers platform. The Ford Escape was the 25th best-selling vehicle in America last year with over 140,000 sold, but that's still not good enough for the compact SUV to stick around past 2024. The now 23-year-old nameplate will be discontinued before the end of the year following the Edge SUV before it. The last Jaguar F-Type recently rolled off the production line. Surviving 10 years and several iterations, Jag's beloved sports car is officially gone as the company moves to electrification over the next few years. According to a report, the Genesis G70 is being discontinued with no successor in the works as the brand electrifies its entire lineup by 2025. Yes, the long-lived Cherokee nameplate hits the trail. In fact, production already ended earlier this year. The larger Grand Cherokee sticks around, though. Another Jeep is biting the dust, the Renegade. As Automotive News reported and Jeep confirmed to Autoblog, this entry-level Jeep is following the Cherokee down the trail into the sunset. That will make the Compass the least expensive nameplate for the storied brand. Both the hatchback and sedan versions of the Mitsubishi Mirage will reportedly get the axe at the end of 2024. With a starting price of about eighteen grand. the five-door is still one of the cheapest cars in America, but sluggish performance and an outdated platform make it a tough sell. Mini's new and improved lineup won't include the lovable Clubman. You can still technically buy one in 2024, but fewer than 100 units of the final edition will be offered in the U.S. with a starting price just over 47 grand. After that, Mini will sunset its station wagon for now. It's been a long time coming, but the Nissan GTR will officially end production in the U.S. in October. Nissan is sending off its beloved sports car with two special trims, the Skyline Edition and the Takumi Edition, that honor the long lineage of the GTR. The current R34 GTR debuted way back in 2009. The Nissan Titan is another long-standing Nissan that won't make it to 2025. Even though trucks are usually big business, Nissan sold fewer than 20,000 in 2023, so it's not going to stick around much longer. The Ram 1500 TRX is dead, and the new RHO will replace it. That means the 702 horsepower truck won't be available in the U.S. after this year. Buyers can still get their hands on the supercharged truck for a cool 98 grand, but it's only available in limited quantities. Model year 2025 will mark the final Subaru Legacy. The all-wheel drive sedan was designed specifically for the American market and was built in Indiana. Over 1.3 million have been sold since 1989, spanning six generations. The hot-selling Outback, which is built on the same platform as the Legacy, will continue. Toyota plans to retire the Venza Hybrid after the 2024 model year, according to a report from Automotive News. 
The Toyota Crown Signia comes in to take its place as a two-row hybrid crossover to slot between the RAV4 and Highlander. The Venza lived in an odd place in the lineup for Toyota. It was similar in size, though a bit ritzier than the RAV4 it's based on and a bit cheaper than the Lexus NX. The Crown Signia better distinguishes itself from those other hybrids. The Venza was short-lived in its new form, with the current generation reviving the nameplate for the 2021 model year. The good news is that the six-cylinder Supra is sticking around at least for another few years. The bad news is that anyone hoping to get their hands on the more affordable four-cylinder model will have to pursue the used car marketplace. Toyota officially killed the four-cylinder Supra ahead of the 2025 model year, likely due to slow sales. And Volvo is another brand moving to electrification, and with that, the gas-powered S60 reaches the end of the line. The S60 debuted in the U.S. in 2000, and the third-generation luxury sedan arrived in 2019. With the S60 gone by the end of the year, Volvo will shift production to focus on the new EX90 electric three-row SUV. If and when you are ready to start shopping for a new or used vehicle, check out quotes.everymandriver.com quotes. .everymandriver.com for free quotes on the best deals being offered in your area from qualified dealerships. Make, model, and zip code. It's just that easy. There's also a link below this video. If you don't find what you're looking for in your zip code, expand that zip code. Be willing to travel a few miles. You could save a few hundred, possibly a few thousand dollars on a new car, SUV, or truck in your area by visiting quotes.everymandriver.com. It's a free search engine for insider access to dealer pricing. There's also a link below this video. That's my video for today. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and click subscribe if you haven't already. It's free and it really helps support this channel. See you next time. Today's video is brought to you by The Cold Plunge. Use discount code DAVE150 at checkout at thecoldplunge.com. Immediately save $150 off your purchase. That's DAVE150 at thecoldplunge.com. There's also a link below this video. Today's video is brought to you in part by Ironman Darts. If you're looking to pick up a new and fun hobby that you can play at home or at the local pub, check out the Ironman Darts YouTube channel for simple and easy practice routines, lessons on how to throw darts, darts games for beginners, and real matches versus real people with both steel tip and soft tip darts. Click the link below and watch for free. And there it is.